Welcome, we'll start with understanding what are extraneous variables, mainly the confounding and the lurking variables. So let's understand what are extraneous variables first. Extraneous variables are those variables which are external and which are kept outside the study basically and these are undesirable variables which become the part of the study in case they do so that's what is a kind of extraneous variable so we do not try to introduce a lot of extraneous variables into our study so let's first talk about what is a confounding variable let's say there was a study that was done based on the study time and the rate of success so i would say the more the student studied the higher was the success rate and that was the kind of study that was done here the success rate becomes the dependent variable and the study time becomes the independent variable now in this study I forgot to introduce a variable and that was intelligence now once this variable which is intelligence has been introduced in this study what would happen is my prior results would be falsified because once I am introducing intelligence I could say a person with more intelligence would have more success rate but at the same time I can say the person who, who is more intelligent would study more because he is fond of studying for a example I can say he does not hesitate to study he is not afraid of the study and therefore for his study time is more and his success rates comes to be higher so this intelligence here becomes a confounding variable so what we are trying to understand here is that this variable has been introduced or it was not taken into account in the previous study where I was talking about study time versus the success rate and therefore that study was falsified once you have intelligence as a confounding variable that was brought in so what we need to do here is we need to take into account this confounding variable and I could say the results would be apt if I would say people with equal intelligence are measured and then we say the impact of study time and uh, the relation between study time and the success so if I am assuming that all the people have equal intelligence and then I am comparing the study time and success then I am taking this into account and therefore I am working on this confounding variable so confounding variables are and they try to provide a kind of alternative explanation to your hypothesis that has been given so if in the previous case I would have not in included intelligence it would provide an alternative explanation because to my answer or to the hypothesis that I have given and therefore to control this confounding variable is very very important for the research so that's the first type the next is the lurking variable so lurking variables are those variables which are kept outside the study area so let's say gender temperature so all those things are kept outside the original study area and those are known as the lurking variables so these variables are outside the research area now when we are doing research we are understanding a relation between dependent variable and independent variable there could be numerous variables that are present some of those could be confounding the others could be lurking so we have to identify what kind of variable is there and in case there is a kind of confounding variable that is present we need to take into action in order to see that there is no alternative explanation that is given to my uh, hypothesis that's being formed again besides these two there are uh, other variables like physical variables so for example a drug is apt at 25 degrees Celsius but if I keep it in a room temperature of let's say 50 degrees Celsius the drug would have a different result or the ingredients would react and there could be some other reaction that could take place so that's a kind of physical variable that's extraneous then you can have personal variable this could be group A and group B two having different traits so once they are being introduced the traits are being introduced the personality traits of group A are different from group B so that could be a kind of personal variable uh, that could be introduced which is extraneous and the last 
first extraneous variable could be let's say uh, the researcher variable and this is a kind of variable that unknowingly happens so let's say I am a researcher uh, at the point I am giving test to group A I am very happy at the point I am giving test to group B I am very sad so this might affect the results that group A and group B are producing so as a result this is being introduced unknowingly by the researcher researcher is not aware because of his emotional state the results could vary and that's what we understand under a researcher variable so today we talked about the extraneous variables the confounding and the lurking are very very important so have a clear idea about it we'll be talking about more topics under research in the upcoming classes so stay tuned have a great day ahead